Hello, my name is Mrs Taylor. I work with Tees Valley Music Service. I teach classroom music and ukuleles, recorders, a bit of singing, piano, but I'm actually here today to talk about the flute. I've been playing the flute since I was nine years old and so I've been playing ever since. I've been playing in orchestras and wind bands, which is one of the things I love most about playing the, the flute not just because of its beautiful sound, but being able to play in groups. Um, I've been lucky enough to be able to travel with the orchestra at school. So I went to Italy um, and also America. We traveled to California to Disneyland, played on the Disneyland stage, which was very exciting, one of my highlights. Um, I also play with a, a flute group called Flautissimo. Our last concert, in fact, was just before lockdown at the Middlesbrough Town Hall. The flute is one of the actually the oldest instruments in history. So in the past it may have been made of wood, you can get still flutes that are made of wood today and they might have been made of bamboo but also bone, so they might have used animal or human bone um, to be able to, to hollow out to create into flutes. And um, what I'd like to do today is just play a little piece for you and then hopefully if anyone's interested in learning the flute um, I'll leave some leaflets with your school and they can be taken home by and by yourselves to your parents to have signed and brought back if you're interested. One of the things you can do before I start, before I have a go at playing, is think about when you're when you're blowing, it's quite a difficult instrument to start playing, but once you get going, it's it's very similar to the recorder in that some of the notes are actually the same fingers as you would use on a recorder. So a lot of you have had recorder lessons in school as well. So the way that you blow it is if you imagine if you're blowing using a bottle and you can blow over the top of it to get a sound up. <sighs> You're blowing the air um, over the hole but down um, in that kind of action. So you can all have a go at doing that at home, but something you can do now is put your finger underneath your bottom lip like this. So not over, but underneath. And then your other hand underneath and blow the air downwards like this. And if you can get air onto your hand, then perhaps you might be able to get the sound up to a flute as well. So all have a try at that. See if you can get that, feel that air on your hand. I'm going to play a piece of music to you now. I think you'll probably recognise it, um, but I'll play it through before I introduce it and see if you can guess what it is. So I wonder if you can tell me what that piece of music is. I'm sure that you probably would have guessed it's from Harry Potter. So lots of tunes you can play on the flute, songs from films or anything you like really. So that's just a little bit of an introduction to the flute and I hope you've enjoyed listening um, to the sound of the flute and I hope that there's some people that are interested in playing as well. I will leave you with that for today and I hope to hear and see some of you soon. Thank you, bye.